Well, good day, good day, viewers, boys and girls. Welcome back to Noel's Garden Crackers and Firewood. So I'm going to take you outside here. I know I'm hibernating, but anyway. So I'm going to take you outside and kind of just show you a few things around the house as to why I clear snow the way I do and uh, a few other little things I did, or I should say I do. So today is kind of you know, cloudy all day, it's about four or five degrees Celsius. And uh, it's just kind of starting to sprinkle rain a little bit. Anyway, last week there I put up my uh, extensions on the gutters and then I put the posts up so I can see where things are at so I can go around things and not get run into them. And so normally I guess I would, of course, clean the driveway of snow, so... All that driveway is basically double wide and I take it right to the trees on this side as close as I can sort of and not quite over to the driveway lights. And then I come down along here and I go through all of here right to the back where the trees are. And then on this side, all the way down there to the fence, out about uh, kind of to where that darker grass is there, where the fence is. <laughs> it's in bad shape everywhere, I guess, but. <laughs> It's not my fence. So, anyway, probably 15 feet out from the building, I guess. So that gets all done. And then I come around here. I do right here, kind of in line with the steps. And right straight through, right to the other stick that you see there. And just in front of that bush, where all this area gets cleared in. And then I have to clear out a little spot to get to the garbage cans. So then we come across here. We go between the steps and that stick. Then I go straight across and I try to clean, keep this corner cleaned. It's kind of strange how the snow has changed over the years. I never used to get snow in this corner. And then about five years ago, I started getting snow banks there and my exhaust and my intake from my propane furnace would get covered over and then no work. So I devised up a, a thing so that the exhaust will get out either the top or the bottom. And you gotta have that outlet on the bottom because the exhaust is uh, full of moisture so it has to drain out. The intake if it gets that bad, well, I can take it off inside the house and draw air from inside the house until I get that cleared away. So, that's kind of odd. Like I say, we've been here for 30 years. Never, never used to get much snow in that corner. It never would be covering over the bottom of that uh, white pipe there that's coming out. Anyway, that's the way it goes, I guess. So then I clear this post over to that post 
and I have to come around here so that I can get the delivery of propane. Because nowadays, if you don't clear a path for them, they won't come in. When I was delivering propane, well, you had to walk through two or three feet of snow or more, and sometimes you had to take a shovel with you to dig down to find a tank. But not today. You've got everything cleared out, so some fellas can get in. If they can't get in, they won't deliver to you. Anyway, so continue. I might as well like, always kind of keep coming through here. And I clear just a wee little bit there, but then I come back across the front of the house. Now, the reason why I do all this is uh, a few reasons, I guess. One, I think it helps keep water away from the house in the springtime. Two, I have to have a clear for the propane fella anyway, so I've got to do that. Three, I guess it's if it's a nice day and I'm not hibernating, it's seat time on the tractor. Um, four is well, we have if we have a fire, well, if things are cleared away, it's a lot easier for us to get out in any of the three doors. And again, because of the fire, if we had one, it's a lot easier for the firemen to get around. So they can get all the way around the house and down both sides of the garage. And normally there's not a lot at the back side of the garage, but I could go around there if I needed to. I don't, I don't really ever do that. So another little thing I did today. Now this is this story is going to change to uh, Hurricane Fiona. Hurricane Fiona happened in September of last year and blew a lot of stuff down and did a lot of damage and all that kind of stuff. Now in my front yard here, I had a snowball tree. I don't know, hopefully you all know what that kind of a thing is, but I never liked the thing. And my wife liked it, so I, I always tried to sneakily try and kill it, but I could never do that, so. But one year I got annoyed, and I took the saw and cut it off right at the ground level. Well, didn't the thing grow back up again? And uh, be as big as ever, and and just kept on going. So anyway, <laughs> thankfully Fiona blew it down. That was the only good thing that Fiona did. So I got it out of here and whatever. And at that time in the spring here this year, uh, the son was getting spruce trees for his place. So I decided, well, I'm going to get a little spruce tree to put there. It's a white spruce. So that takes the place of the snowball tree. So then I got thinking, well, I might as well stick some Christmas lights on it just for the heck of it. I thought about that a couple of months ago. So after talking, after talking to a very knowledgeable electrician, I decided to kind of just run a a wire across the lawn. But because I come through here with the tractor and the snowblower, I buried it. So I just took a, an edger and worked the ground back and forth a little bit and then just pushed the, pushed the cord down into it. So it's only down about two or three inches. But that'll keep it from me getting into it. And then it just comes along here and goes up the wall and into that light socket there. So I can switch it on and off from inside. So there, that's 
that's what was going on today. And there was many trips back to the garage to get warmed up. <laughs> so, that's another little thing done. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Just another foolish video. And uh, have a great day. And we'll see you again on another video. Not sure when, but no, no, it could be that stuff getting split up. That's just old rotten old wood, but anyway. If it splits, it splits. If it don't, it don't. And when you put it into a good hot fire, it all burns up, so no sense wasting it. It might as well burn. All right. That's it for now. Have a great day and evening.